So in today's video, we're going to be discussing the top 5 trades that would land Kemba Walker elsewhere in the 2021 NBA offseason. And this video is mainly being made because of the recent reports that have came out that Kemba Walker and the Boston Celtics want a breakup this offseason, meaning that both sides want to part ways and get a trade done. Which is why in this video, we're going to be discussing the top trade suitors with the Boston Celtics and a trade for Kemba Walker. But with that all being said, if you guys haven't already, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you're new. And also hit that notification bell button not to miss out on more awesome NBA videos like these. And with that all out of the way, now let's get into the video. So Kemba Walker has still shown signs of being a somewhat productive player for the Boston Celtics this season, including his recent 29 point performance in the play-in game against the Washington Wizards. However, his inconsistency and his injury issues are definitely becoming a problem and diminishing his value drastically. And this is especially because of his 36 plus million dollar contract. And with his player option next season, he's going to be owed about 38 million dollars that season, which is going to destroy the Celtics salary cap space to be able to maneuver other trades. And with that all being said, the Celtics will definitely look to move Kemba Walker this offseason. And I have came up with five trades that would allow the Celtics to trade Kemba Walker. And these five trades are somewhat realistic and reasonable. And with that being said, let's get into the first mock trade. So in this mock trade, the Boston Celtics would receive Al Horford and the Oklahoma City Thunder would receive Kemba Walker and the Boston Celtics 2021 first round pick, which is pick 16. And for the Celtics, the good part of this trade is that Al Horford will definitely be a better fit on the roster and he would provide a skill set at the power forward or center position that the Celtics didn't really have since Al Horford was there previously. And even at age 35, Al Horford could definitely provide a very big boost off the bench or starting for the Celtics roster, as he would provide solid outside shooting, perimeter defense, and rebounding to the rotation. And OKC would do this trade because they also get a first round pick, which is pick 16 in this draft. And they basically just swap large contracts, but Al Horford would definitely be a better fit for the Boston Celtics. And for the remaining two years for Kemba Walker's large contract, the Oklahoma City Thunder could try him out with Shea Gilgeous Alexander, or they could find a trade partner once again for Kemba Walker. And with that all being said, now let's get into the second mock trade. So in this mock trade, the Celtics would receive Eric Bledsoe and Steven Adams and the New Orleans Pelicans would receive Kemba Walker. And in my opinion, this is one of the better trades that the Boston Celtics could make with Kemba Walker since they get a solid center in Steven Adams that can cover the paint for them. And they also get a point guard or shooting guard in Eric Bledsoe that can help them out with their point guard duties. And financially, this trade makes sense for both teams, since the Pelicans and Celtics get rid of their unwanted large contracts. And with this trade, the Pelicans would add Kemba Walker to the mix of Zion Williamson, Brandon Ingram. And the only way that this could probably happen would be if Lonzo Ball would leave the Pelicans in free agency, which definitely is a possibility, so we'll definitely have to see what happens. And now with that being said, let's get into the third mock trade. So in this trade, the Celtics would receive Luke Kennard, Ivica Zubak, and Patrick Beverly, as the Los Angeles Clippers would receive Kemba Walker. And this could also be beneficial for both sides as the Celtics would receive more all-around depth on their team with a bad contract such as Luke Kennard, but he can play as a backup shooting guard for the Celtics, and Patrick Beverly would play at the backup point guard position, most likely behind Marcus Smart. And the Celtics also get a starting 5 caliber center in Ivica Zubak, but he would most likely come off the bench since Robert Williams will take the starting 5 role. And for the Clippers, they get a player in Kemba Walker, which if he would be healthy and if he'd play at his best capabilities, would be a star type of player. And maybe he just needs a change of scenery and in LA, he could definitely be able to achieve that. And when it's a fully healthy team, a big three of Kemba Walker, Paul George and Kawhi Leonard would definitely be one of the best teams in the NBA. And this could become one of a more realistic possibility for the Clippers if they do lose in the second round of the 2021 NBA playoffs to the Utah Jazz as they are currently down 1-0. And now with that being said, let's get into mock trade number 4. 
So in this trade, the Celtics would receive Dennis Schroeder, Marcus Gasol, and Contavious Caldwell-Pope, as the Lakers would receive Kemba Walker and two future second round picks. And this also could potentially benefit both sides, as the Lakers would get Kemba Walker to potentially fill out their roster to win a championship in the next few seasons. And they also get rid of Dennis Schroeder who pretty much choked in the playoffs since he scored zero points in one of the games. And this would be through a sign-in trade with Schroeder. And the Lakers might not even need to give up a player like Marc Gasol. And KCP and Dennis Schroeder should probably do the deal. And this would be a solid trade for the Celtics as they get a point guard replacement in Dennis Schroeder which is younger than Kemba Walker. And they also get a solid role player in Contavious Caldwell Pope that could play their shooting guard position. And with that being said, now let's get into the fifth and final mock trade. So in this trade, the Boston Celtics would receive Kristaps Porzingis and the Dallas Mavericks would receive Kemba Walker. And it's definitely not the best trade in my opinion for both teams, but it's still a possibility since both players are definitely low valued right now. But the age difference and the contract difference is definitely going to become a problem. And in a new system and a change of scenery, Chris Apps Porzingis could definitely become a very solid player and a very elite player for a team like the Boston Celtics and it would be a much better fit since he would play alongside Robert Williams in the frontcourt position. And a starting five of Marcus Smart, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, Kristaps Porzingis, and Robert Williams would definitely be a very legitimate team in the NBA. And that team would definitely have enough size, defense, and scoring to be able to actually go far in the playoffs. And since Kristaps Porzingis has publicly stated that he's not in a good state with Luka Doncic, the Mavericks would finally trade him for a change of scenery in a change of action with Kemba Walker alongside Luka Doncic and it would definitely be an interesting fit but it's possible to actually work out and with that all being said let me know in the comment section down below which trade was the best out of all of these five and which team do you prefer Kemba Walker to be traded to and which team would actually be a fit and let me know what changes you would have made in these type of trades Personally, I probably still believe that the Kemba Walker trade would be best with the Los Angeles Lakers or even the New Orleans Pelicans. Since in those trades, the Celtics would still get their needs in return. Since with the Pelicans trade, they would get Eric Bledsoe and Steven Adams. And with the Lakers trade, they would get a player in Contavious Caldwell Pope, which is a very solid role player and a player like Dennis Schroeder, which would fill out their point guard position. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and also hit that notification bell button not to miss out on more awesome NBA content like this. And with that being said, it's been KNYT here and I'm out. Peace.